Links are used to navigate from a page to page and they are considered as hyperlinks. If we take a look here at CSS tricks, if I click on articles, you'll see that I navigate through another page. And if I click on another link, I can navigate through multiple documents by using this links. Links are not only limited on text, you can use an image as a link and you can also use any other HTML element. So in our case, we use the hidden as a link. And to find out the element that are link inside the document, you just need to move the mouse over the element. Now the row is returning to a hand, same for the image and same for the link. But if I go outside, the cursor returns to an row. Okay, how to create a link? So to create a link, we have the tag A and we need to close it. Now I have an element within the document. If I open the inspector, I have a tag A within, or I have a link. So now I'm creating a link, uh, but I need to define two things here. The link itself, the link that I want to visit and the visible part of the link. Okay, now I can go for each ref, which is the attribute that specifies the destination address of the link. And then I need to define the link that I want to visit. I will go for google.com. If I save the page, and I visit again the document, so you'll see that I have no link here. I don't have any visible link. If I just go here and I open the inspector, you'll see that I have a link, but it is not visible on the document because there is something that you need to define within the tag itself or within the e tag itself. So we have the choice to define a text or an image or any other valid HTML element. And I will go for a text Google. Now, if I save the page, you'll see that I have a link Google visible on the document. And if I click on Google, you'll see that I, in, I visit the, the link within the href of the value of href. Now, let's just go to the previous one. And if I refresh the page, so I have the Google link. I can use an image instead of Google, as I already said. And let's just go for image. And I will define images already exist here. Okay, I'll go for big play. Now, if I save the page, so you see that I have an image. And if I click on the image, now the image it is within the E element or within the link element. Now, if I click on the image, I'll visit google.com. So as I already said, you can use any valid HTML element. So you have the choice. So the value in each ref in this example is an external link, google.com. But I have the choice to use a local address instead of an external link. Let's just remove this image first and I'll put page two. So I will create another page. Okay, let's just put the title at the top. I will create another page to HTML so that I need to access to by using this link. Now I want when I click on page two, I access to another page within the same folder. I just remove that and instead of google.com, I will put a page2.html. But the page doesn't exist. I only have page.html. I will copy the content from here. I'll create a new file. Go for page2.html. Pass the code and the title. Change the heading. Page one, this is the first page, page HTML, which has the content. And this is the result of this page. Now, if I click on page two, the Dovish HTML, I need to go to this page right here. Okay, I just click on the link. I visit page two, as you see, the heading is changing. And now I'm accessing to that. If I just change the content, you see that this is the content of page two. So I use the links of this href so to access to a local link and I define a file that already exists within this folder. This is the page two. Now I want access to page one from page two. So I will remove that and change the value to page.html. Now I can visit page one, page one from page two. Okay. Now I'm within the page one and I can visit page two from page one. And this is the way to create a local link and we use a related URL without this HTTP WW thing that we use on google.com example. And to summarize all of that, we use the tag A to define a link and the link can be a text, an image or any valid HTML tag. And we use also this href attributes in order to define the address. It can be a local address. So in our case, when we're using the HTML an HTML file within the document, or it can be an external link when I put the www.google.com or any other external link.